this part of the tutorial, we are going to go to Firebase on the web and load the quiz data. So if I search for Firebase on Google and go and uh, click on their new website and uh, click on uh, this Getting Started for Free link, uh, these are some projects that I have already built. Your screen is probably blank here, but regardless, we're going to create a new project. And uh, let's call this project uh, President's Quiz uh, for uh, Android Studio, like that. And we're going to hit the Create button. And it's just going to take a couple of seconds for Google to create a new database. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, we're back now and Google has created this database for us. You can see up here the title, Presence Quiz Android Studio. And if I go over to the database, we see that there is no data there right now because we haven't entered any. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take the data that was in our quiz app from before. That's the stuff in green here. And we're going to migrate it now into the Firebase database. Now before we get started entering the data in the database, I just want to show you how the data structure that we're going to be using for our Firebase application is a little bit different than what your colleagues are doing in the class who are doing this project on App Inventor 2. Uh, if I look at their database structure, here it is. You can see that they have a parallel list structure where we have one array that contains the questions, another array that contains the right answers, and then another, another array that contains the links to the images. This is not an object-oriented structure. This structure was chosen to make it easier to parse the data in App Inventor 2, but that's not the structure that we're going to be using. So uh, let's look at our structure. What we're going to do is we are going to create a single question structure to mimic the question structure we had in our helper file uh, in the uh, activity in the Java. Uh, and so we are going to try and create a database structure to mimic this structure here that holds each question. This is what the finished product looks like after we're going to get done putting in all the data into Firebase for our Android Studio app. And I just want to show you that the structure is uh, more object oriented. So what we have is a tab called questions and then we have a list of questions. And here's the information for the first question, for the second one and the third one. And here are the array indices for each of the questions and you can see that this the tabs that I have used here choice A, B, and C, correct answer, etc. These tabs correspond directly to the same uh, tags that are included in the question structure that we defined in the Java file in our app. I just want to point out some niceties that Firebase has built into it you'll notice that it recognizes each of these strings automatically as strings so when I type in Eisenhower I don't have to put in the double quotes here and here it puts them in for me likewise when I type in false it recognizes that as a boolean and when I type in an integer it recognizes it as an integer the only case that it cannot pick up the proper data type is when it's a single character. Here I typed in a B and you can see that it listed it as a string instead of as a single character. This is going to create a small problem for us uh, back in our code. We had coded the correct answer as a single character and we may have to go back and change that and uh, re-implement it as a string uh, in order to make it work with Firebase. But we'll get to that a little bit later. So let's see now how we create this data. Uh, to create this questions tab, what I've done is gone into the main uh, tab here under President's Quiz Android Studio and clicked on this button here. 
and added a, a, an additional tab called questions. If we want to add a question to this portfolio, what I do is I click on this uh, teal plus sign and to create an array index I just put in the number and then instead of hitting the add I'm just going to hit this teal button here to start creating the data structure uh, for our quiz and uh, what we just as a reminder what we're going to do is we're going to repeat all the tags we have in this question structure here so we're going to need a picture ID, a question text, the three choices, the answer and this boolean variable. So getting back to here we can enter these in any order and Firebase will automatically sort them in alphabetical order. So let's say we put in one for the question text like this and we put in the value which president is shown here seated next to Churchill. Notice that I didn't have to put in the double quotes, it put in the double quotes for me. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in the other information for this question. I'm going to pause the tutorial while I do that. Okay, I've gone ahead now and added all the other fields for the first question. Note that uh, I have set the picture ID to be zero. We'll go back and add the pictures in later into this app, but for now we're going to turn those off. And uh, you can see that all the data types have been recognized by Android Studio except for this single character one which uh, we're going to code as a string here. Uh, I've gone ahead and already added the other two questions and so now I have the finished product in Firebase that I need to drive my app. Mm -hmm.